Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And boy, it's a little cool here down in Florida. Just not used to it. I imagine some of your people up north of Florida and seeing that white stuff are probably uh, in a really a state of shock. It's amazing how long it took for the cold weather to get here. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about this morning is this Eaton Field Radio. Now, it, it gets a little confusing because... Lately, Eaton has been introducing a few new radios, and, and they don't have a number associated with it. There is one number, which is the NGWFBTB, but it's not like, you know, the satellite so-and-so or the S350 or something like that. They kind of dropped that nomenclature. But anyway, this is the Grundig addition, another confusion factor, field BT standing for Bluetooth shortwave AM FM radio. And I did a review of the predecessor of this, which is basically the same, except it doesn't have the Bluetooth function. And I've been kind of putting off getting this radio because it sounds so similar to the one I did a review of. And that was, oh gosh, quite a while ago. Um, but this morning I was kind of looking around for newer radios to review and to get. And I ran across this one. And I'm kind of mixed. So I, I really know, need your input. If you have any information, if you have one of these, please give me some feedback or give us some feedback on this. Now notice it has a four-star rating. But down in, if you look down in here, it's got 21% or two stars or less. That's a pretty high number. Pretty high number. Now, you have to take these reviews on Amazon with a grain of salt because some of these people who get these radios really don't know how to use them, and so they give them a bad rating when they shouldn't have. But another thing I noticed when I was kind of searching the Internet is I went to... The e to, went to eBay, and there's a lot of these on, on sale from various vendors. And look over here. Here's two here for $85 and $88. And if you click on this one, for instance, and this is re no reflection on the vendor, um, these are refurbished units. And I, I saw a lot of them, at least a lot of them advertised. And I'm like, are there that many that have been returned and had to be refurbished at first? You know, I don't, what does refurbished mean? You know, the open, open the box and if the box hasn't been beat up and everything's back in the package, they say, okay, it's refurbished, it's done. I don't know. But it kind of scares me when you see that many... Um, in the category of refurbished. That kind of scares me. Then, and again, you take these ratings with a grain of salt. There's so only two product ratings on eBay for this particular radio or this vendor. I don't know what the ratings mean on eBay. Um, you got one which gave it a five and one which gave it a one. So it took, only got a 50% rating or, I mean, a, yeah, a 3.0 rating. I guess that's 2.5 rounded up. I don't know. So I, I just, I'm curious about this. Now, uh, Jay Allen, who does excellent reviews, he takes the radios apart, he beats them up, he even destroys some of them. Um, he cut, this was, um, when was this? Uh, da, 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 da. I wish these, these people that did re these reviews would date them. I wish they would date them. See if it's down the bottom someplace. Usually it's not. No, it's not dated. But this this is kind of old. I remember review uh, re, uh, reading it when it first came out. So it's ooh, six, at least six months old. And he, down here in the conclusion, he says, um, there's not much difference, basically, between the two radios, the predecessor, which I reviewed in this one. And uh, da, 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 da. he says it does have... Muting while tuning, which I hate. Um, I think that's about it. 
And, and he kind of overall liked it, uh, which I did on its predecessor. I liked the predecessor. It had a lot of uh, features and uh, big, pretty big form factor. Nice big display. So I'm like, uh, let's see. Got here he says performance a mixed bag. Uh, AM radio junk is right because he didn't like the AM performance. Uh, spurious notes. Thankfully, Eaton has started installing an, the uh, that important shield over the DSP chip. Okay, so there was some problems there. Uh, it just it sounds like it's it's the previous version of this radio with Bluetooth. That's what it sounds like. It's not like everything else is still the same. So that's why I've been hesitant to get one. It's like, you know, not much difference. But they are they they are down in price. They originally came out they were hundred and thirty dollars. Now they're down to five ninety five dollars. And of course. Uh, Amazon has an uh, excellent return policy that you just uh, put it back in the box and they give you a, um, a mailing label and so you don't have to pay any shipping and you ship it back to them. And as soon as the uh, post office or FedEx or whoever it is, log it in, you get your credit back. Now, if you send them an empty box, uh, your credit will be erased. So anyway... I don't know. I need your input. If you if you have one of these radios and have used it, please give me give us give us everybody. That's what it's all about: sharing information. Give us some feedback. If you don't want to do that, you can send me an email directly to trrs73 at gmail.com. I'd appreciate any help trying to find trying to decide where to get one of these. Or not to review. I, I'm just I'm I'm scared that it'll be oh yeah it's the same as the other one, and it's got Bluetooth. But end of story. No review. Bye. Okay. Anyway, help me out if you can. Have a great day and stay warm. Bye bye.